girl is your girl Thomas Stitches. If you join us for the first time, you are highly welcome. Please press that subscription button so that you subscribe with us and also press the notification bell so that once we upload any new video, you'll be notified immediately. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much for always watching our video. Don't forget to share our video. Give us thumbs up once you, once you watch our video. Thank you very much. So today I want to show us how to make a drip cow kaftan dress. A drip cow kaftan dress. So here on my table, I've laid the fabric. I'm cutting the two together. I folded it into two. This is two. I'm cutting the front and the back together. So to achieve this uh, drip cow kaftan dress, you need to know where you want the shoulder to fall. So for what I have here now, I'll be using the length, the width I have here, the vertical measurement. What I have here is 25. So I'll be using the whole of the 25. So the whole, if you check, take it down, what I have here, aside from the rough edges, the folded part is all 25. I'll just mark my 25 here. All the way down. Mark my twenty-five. So the material I'm using is a bit of a soft chiffon, soft uh, crepe dress uh, material crepe. So the full length I have is sixty-one inches, and I'll be using the whole length. So now let me insert the shoulder measurement. Like I said, the whole measurement of the shoulder I'm using here is 25. So I'll just come to the edge and insert uh, two inches. Can use one and a half for shoulder uh, slant. So I'm marking two inches and I'll slant it all the way towards the neckline. mark that so what I'll be inserting now is my neckline the neckline I'm using here is three and a half for the back I'll be using one and a half for the front I'll be using five inches okay just make your curve is a round neck same thing here so now from my our usual vertical measurement but i'll not be using that all i need here now is just from shoulder to waist i'm using that for a different thing so i want to just mark it here shoulder to waist i'm using here is 17 Shoulder to waist, I'm using is 70. So I'm going to just mark it here for what I want to use it for. After now, I'll show you. So let's mark that 17 all the way. So let me mark that line. Because I'm not be needing the measurement. I'm dripping the clothes. So I'm not be needing the measurement, the bust, the chest line. No, I don't need all that. So here now is my waistline. Okay, from my waistline and the next measurement I need is where I want the drip to start from. So for me, I want it to start from 33. Or I can start from 30 or just by the hip, some inches after the hip, one or two inches after the hip. So let's use um, 31. So I think 31. That's where I want the drip to start from 31. To stop, sorry, not start from. So let me mark it here. The cow, I mean now. Call it the cow, the drip. They are all different words. The same meaning. 
Now, before I forget, this uh, kaftan, uh, cow kaftan I'm using, is going to be having a band by the sleeve side like this. So I'm going to be using this black material for the band. Okay. So now, I'll come to where I want the drip to stop, and I'll be marking my hip measurement plus two inches. Or you can make it three inches, depends on you. And I'm going to mark it all the way down. So from this place where my drip will be stopping, I'll be marking the measurement I want to use here. I'm using 15 inches for easy movement too. I have to consider that. So I don't have to put a slit. So I'm marking it all the way down. So you mark that from that 32, I mean, 32 inches I have. I'll mark it down. Now for my sleeve opening, I will not be using my usual sleeve opening. My usual sleeve opening for such is about uh, 8 inches. But I'll not be using 8 inches. Rather, I'll be using 15 inches. Because I want to put some gathers. I can use 14 so just, 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 just use 14 inches okay I'll put some small gathers so now here is my where I want the sleeve to open from so I'll now connect this uh, drip line here to where the sleeve will be stopping in a curvy manner like this Make sure that it's not sharp. Make it a bit cool. So now you see what we have here. So looking at it now, it's well explained. I'm cutting the front and the back together. I put my shoulder slant, put my necklines, drop my sleeve from the normal 8 inches. I added extra to it, making 13 inches. Now from there, I'll connect it to where I want the drip to stop. So I'm going to be cutting it off now. Then we'll continue from there. So I'm using, I'm going to cut the, the neckline, the front neckline. So I'm done cutting, you can see the neckline, I've cut the front neckline aside from the back neckline. The front neckline is deeper, you can see here. So they are two together. So what I'm going to do now is to take it to the machine and join the shoulders first. Once I join the shoulders, then I'm going to leave, I'll join the shoulder to this side. Then I'll leave this sleeve opening. Then I'll join this side all the way down. You get it? I'll leave the sleeve opening and join this other side all the way down when I bring it back. So I've taken it to the machine. I've turned the neck with a matching color bias. Turned it very neatly. I've joined the shoulders. So now I'll come to the sleeve side. I'm going to make gathers round the sleeve and gather it to the circumference of the uh, hand somewhere here where I want it to stop before I now inside the the band i'm using so let me take it to the machine and do the gathers and insert my band so i've taken it you can see so i use this beautiful uh, piece of lace i have a black one has a, a neat finishing you can see so i've inserted it to the sleeve i made my gathers and i've inserted it to the sleeve so i'm going to do the same to the other side now while i go to do that i want to show us another thing we need to do want to create some little uh, drop in the middle here so now i want to show us how to make that center dripping front uh, is on this front only i'm making that so first of all you get the center of the the dress 
which I've marked here initially when we started. I made that mark there. So now from the shoulder, I will measure the half length. The half length I want to use here is 18. I marked that here. Now from the center, I want to start by taking uh, five and a half inches on one side and five and a half inches mark on this other side. So let me drip it and see how full it is. If I need to add more, I'll add more. It's a guide. So let's start like this. Make some gathers here. Just be careful. Okay. Okay. Not to take too much. I've pulled one side now. So I'll now put the second part. So I'm going to be using my needle to hold it together. Endeavor not to put too much. I'm just doing with the five and a half inches. Trying to gather them together. Make some print actually. Make some print. This is space here. Gather more here. This is what I have. You have space towards the other side i gather it again and if it's too much i will relax it by one inch that's why it is too not to be too much so i'm relaxing it by one inch that's what i have here okay the material shift a lot. It's a chiffon material. It's a crepe, but a very light one. Looks like chiffon. Okay. So I use my needle now to hold them together from here to the other side. Use a matching thread. Don't forget that. Then come this way again. Again until it's firm. Okay. See, I squirted some gathers in front here. So I can still go around again. That's for it to be very firm. And let me tie the knot now. Let's see how it looks. Okay. I'll do the excess. So here, you can see how it dripped at the center front. So now I'll take it to the machine and then finish the lower part and the sleeve and bring it back here. Good day. So here is our beautiful cow kaftan dress with some uh, embellishment here. Then here also where we did that uh, drops drip sorry then we have our beautiful sleeve you see how beautiful it looks thanks for watching this video please give us thumbs up like share and subscribe to our channel Thomas teaches love you stay safe bye bye <laughs>